So tell me what what you know about what happened. Yeah, you it, weren't here, were you? I was not, and and we're still kind of trying to figure out exactly what happened. We what we do know is that there was a truck that came out uh, of the alleyway there between the record store and city hall, turning right, um, and our cameras caught it and it looked like he just continued to turn right jumped the curve and for whatever reason instead of hitting the brake accelerated um caught the front part of the uh awning and covering and, and, and uh fortunately thank the good lord there's nobody sitting on that front rail there were a few people on the patio um that did get blown back from the debris and, and, and all that, but uh, nothing but minor bumps and bruises. Um, and uh, I don't know what the status is. They did have a license plate. Uh, the driver continued on, uh, left the scene. And um, so I've not heard any updates this morning as to what the um, fallout from that is. I emailed the chief pretty early and asked him what he would tell me and I haven't heard back. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe I'll find out if they've arrested anybody or anything. Right. So right. so the, the truck hit the, the other side of the, what do you call it, the awning, I yeah. guess? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. It wasn't the very end of it. No, no. Okay. So, uh, hit the, fr uh, the furthest east side, right, and then just continued to push through and really drug the whole canopy and everything out into Railroad Avenue here. Uh, that's where it ended up. So... Um, one minute the patio was there, the next minute it wasn't. And, uh, fortunately, yeah, there was nobody uh, in the way of the vehicle itself.